Remember the story from 2002 of Hawkett, the dog lost at sea? Probably not, but what happened with Hawkett teaches us a lot about psychic numbing. In March of 2002, a fire broke out on an oil tanker 800 miles south of Hawaii. The boat and its crew drifted for over two weeks before a passing cruise ship rescued them. It was only after the tanker had been abandoned that the crew realized they were one short. The captain's dog had been left behind. Somewhere in the Pacific, a two-year-old terrier floated alone on a big, derelict ship. The media picked up the story and word spread. Within days, thousands of dollars in donations poured in to fund rescue efforts for Hawkett. The Hawaiian Humane Society paid a private company $48,000 to look for the ship, but to no avail. Eventually, it was the U.S. Coast Guard who redirected taxpayer funds and hired a boat to recover the tanker and the dog on it. Now here's the science of why we care about one little dog, but maybe not all the dogs who might need help around the world. Research shows that we will go to great lengths to save one life, but we become indifferent when a story is about a big group of people, like the thousands of coronavirus deaths, or a disaster in a foreign country. Why is that? The feeling system has kind of very little limited range. You know, it can't ramp up. That's University of Oregon psychology professor Paul Slovic, who has spent his whole life studying why people do what they do and why they stop caring. The difference between zero people at risk and one is huge. But if I told you that there were 87 people in danger or in some situation, and then I told you that there's, oh no, there's 88, you won't feel any different. In fact, not only does our concern plateau with additional lives at risk, but when the number becomes too big, our compassion might actually decrease. We care less when we should care more. At some level, we may not feel anything. They're just numbers, you know, like of 100,000, a million. We can't relate to, to those numbers and, you know, we lose feeling. We call it the uh, c compassion fade or compassion collapse. In his 50 years of research, Slovak found something else that was startling about the way our brains work. We are less willing to help if we think what we're doing only helps a little. Uh, if the need is great, and our contribution is a small proportion, then we, we, we kind of get the feeling, well, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's a drop in the bucket. Slovak ran an actual experiment that presented two groups the same picture of a little girl in need. The first group was provided a description of the girl. The second was shown the same picture, but with the description of the huge problem that affected her and millions of others. Slovak found people were willing to donate more money when told just the girl's story and less a lot less, to the one that described the bigger problem. We call it pseudo-inefficacy. Pseudo, because it's a false sense that we're not effective. When in fact, we are doing something, albeit a small pr proportion. So it's hardwired into how we think and emotionally react. That's why people begged the US Coast Guard to rescue Hawkett the dog, but maybe didn't care that much about all the dogs in all the shelters around the world. It's psychic numbing and it happens to all of us.